टू माई चैनल सो आई एम श्वेता एंड आई एम करेंटली अ रिसर्च स्टूडेंट स्टडिंग एंड लिविंग इन द नेदरलैंड सो टूडे इज सैटरडे एंड इट इज गोइंग टू बी अ वेरी बिजी वीक एंड बिकॉज दिस इज द फाइनल वीक और लास्ट वीक ऑफ माई इंटर्नशिप एंड आई हैव टू गेट मेनी थिंग्स डन सो आई हैव टू राइट माई इंटर्नशिप रिपोर्ट प्रिपेयर माई फाइनल प्रेजेंटेशन एंड ऑल्सो फाइनलाइज सम ऑफ माई एक्सपीरियमेंट्स सो इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ लॉट ऑफ वर्क एंड आई थॉट दैट आई शुड ब्लॉक दिस एंड टेक यू गाइज अलॉन्ग विथ मी बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक वंडर शेयर डेमो क्रिएटर हु आर काइंडली स्पॉन्सरिंग दिस वीडियो सो डेमो क्रिएटर इज अ स्क्रीन रिकॉर्डिंग एंड वीडियो एडिटिंग सॉफ्टवेयर एंड इट इज रियली वेरी इजी टू यूज सो फॉर स्क्रीन रिकॉर्डिंग यू कैन सिलेक्ट द एरिया एंड स्टार्ट रिकॉर्डिंग यू कैन ऑल्सो कनेक्ट कैमेरा एंड माइक सो वेन यूर रिकॉर्डिंग यूजिंग अ वेब कैम यू कैन यूज द राउंड और स्क्वेर बैकग्राउंड or get rid of the background or use mirror image you can also set the frame rate here and i personally like the screen drawing option so while you're recording you can add text or draw and use the spotlight to focus so i use demo creator for creating my presentations especially when we are working in group we share files with each other and it is very easy to communicate with your team members and i think it is really useful tool for students right now because we are studying and working online and it will help you in your presentations plus the editing is also really simple you have all your files screen recording video and audio files here and then you can add transitions or music and do a lot more so do check out demo creator the free download link is below in the description so yeah coming back today's plan is to work on internship report so i've already started writing it and today i'm going to focus on completing it and i also want to put together a rough layout for my presentation so let's see how that goes i'm going to try to get as much work as possible done today so that tomorrow i can focus more on putting together the slides so uh, i'll note down what i need to do so that i can keep a uh, track of things so let's get started Every single day just is the same. Wake up feel that emptiness of fate. Wash away the pain and put some makeup on my face. Yeah. Every single day just is the same. I am giving all to you in vain. But I guess I had it coming so why should I complain? Why should I? Have to stop. Have to stop. so far it's going good i'm still working on the report i have not started with the presentation yet but now i'm going to have lunch because i'm really hungry and i also wanted to share some good news with you guys so last month i got the opportunity to share my thoughts on science communication and i gave a small interview and the article was published this week uh, in radboud scientific journal So if you want to read the article then head over to my Instagram I have posted it there the link is not available yet so I cannot put it in the description so just go over to my Instagram and have a read I'm going to take a small break and have some juice and then I'll do my laundry because tomorrow is Sunday and it is always crowded on Sunday so I'll do the laundry today and after that I'll get started with my presentation Every single day just stays the same Wake up till the emptiness of fate Wash away the pain and put some makeup on my face Every single day just stays the same I don't really care and it's a shame Should I ever stop? Ever stop? Why should I give you up? Give you up? And when do I 
so my report is almost done and writing the actual report was not the difficult part so we have to follow this two column layout or two column format and the alignment kept shifting every time i added something or deleted something and it was so annoying to you know align the entire document but now it's done so i'm going to go through it once more and finalize it and then i'll send it to my supervisors for their feedback and my presentation is also ready and i'm going to practice it now and i really like the introduction slide of my presentation so i'll quickly show it to you guys so this is my introduction slide and this is the movie which i captured on the microscope so the cell is secreting the protein at which we are looking at and i really like this movie and i'm going to use it for the introduction so I'm done with today's work and now I'm going to have tea and then I'll go for grocery shopping. But before that, I want to talk to you guys and I want to share something with you. So a lot of you ask me questions about studying abroad, particularly about studying in UK and US. And I cannot always give you the right information because I'm not studying there. So it is always good to receive some help or additional assistance from people who are actually studying in that particular country or are doing a particular course. And so today I'm going to share with you about Project Access. So this is not a sponsored plug or this is not a paid advertisement. Project Access is a global non-profit organization which helps students who wish to study abroad. So they're currently operating in 21 different countries and uh, in 13 universities in UK and US. And they have helped thousands of students from underrepresented backgrounds to get into their dream university or to get into their dream course. And for this, they have also received recognition from Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, WEF and UN Women. So basically, Project Access India provides you with tons of information which will help you in your study abroad journey and in your application process. And the best part is they have this peer-to-peer -peer mentorship program. So in this program, they will pair you with an Indian mentor who is actually doing a course in your dream university. And then you can talk to these mentors and ask them for tips or ask them any information which you need. They'll also help you in the application process in SOP writing and if you have any other doubts or what challenges you might face so you can have one-on-one -on -one conversations with these mentors and the best part is all these mentors are students who have actually been through the process so they're students like me who have applied got selected and are now studying abroad so they can give you a more tailored and first-hand advice which will help you in your application process and in addition to this mentorship program, you'll also join an awesome community of different study abroad aspirants. And then you can attend different webinars which are conducted, which will help you in your whole study abroad journey. So there are certain criteria which you need to meet or certain criteria which you need to fulfill. And then Project Access will help you to apply abroad. Uh, so I'll put the link below in the description, visit the website, go through the information which is available, try to understand and then apply and I'm sure that it will help you and take you one step closer towards achieving your dream. So I just had dinner with some of my friends earlier we used to get together and have dinners every weekend but since this is the end of semester and all of us will be completing our respective courses we got so busy that we could not meet but today it was really nice to get back together and it was refreshing and I think overall it was a nice weekend I managed to complete my presentation and report and now I'm looking forward to completing it and looking forward for my final presentation so it's a bit of a uh, mixed feeling it's a nervousness and excitement of you know completing the course giving my final presentation so i'm really looking forward to next week so thank you so much for watching that's it from this video and if you enjoyed it then please consider subscribing to my channel and also don't forget to hit the like button so thank you and uh, i'll see you in the next video until then stay safe and take care